happy Tuesday. Um, so there was something in my quiet time, my journal time yesterday that was revealed to me and I want to share with you all. The thing or the things that you are avoiding the most are probably the very thing that you need to do to get to the next level in your life. The things that you are avoiding the most are probably the things that you need to do to get to the next level in your life. Um, Y'all, I have been struggling with my discipline lately. <laughs> All jokes aside, I've been very tired. Um, I've just been struggling with discipline. And going back to the video that we posted on our Hype in the Podcast last week, I know what routines work for me. And so at this point, I am just being a hindrance in my own life in terms of my lack of discipline. There are so many things that I have learned about myself over the last couple of years. And one of those things is when I feel overwhelmed, I shut down. And like I mentioned a few videos back, with the responsibilities that I have at work, the, um, you know, what's required of me in my personal life in terms of businesses, and just trying to like get back in the gym working out meal prepping like i have just been feeling very overwhelmed and i have learned about myself when i feel overwhelmed i tend to shut down i haven't really been you know hanging out much with my girls but we had to understand it like we all know you know when each other just needs some space and it's been cool but those are little things I'm noticing about myself. And so my lesson in this season of my life is definitely about how to be more disciplined. Not how to be more disciplined because discipline is something that you just do. Consistency breeds discipline. And it's just something I have to do. Like I have to, that's the irony of it all. Like I just have to do it. There's no magic pill. You know, I can read all the books in the world, you know, self-help books. And I just have to do it. And the more and more discontentment I feel about in certain areas of my life because I know that there is a push for me to do more and to be more and to take on more responsibilities. Like the all arrows point back to Trish, you gotta be on your shit. Like you just gotta be more disciplined. And so that is a lesson that, like I said, in my quiet time yesterday, I got, it hit me in my chest. And I also was reminded that the things that we tend not to like in other people, or like, you know, just when we are taking inventory on what someone else is doing and we kind of turn our nose up at certain things or we find ourselves getting frustrated with people, it's because it reminds us of a part of ourselves that we aren't, you know, that we don't like. And so, you know, going back to me being more disciplined, um, there's a family member that I find myself just continuing to get, you know, feeling frustrated with because it's almost like, I've always had to be like the person for everybody in terms of, you know, just setting certain examples, just being the change. And that it's cool, but I ain't gonna lie, like it gets exhausting sometimes. Like sometimes I wanna be able to look to my left and my right and see somebody else grinding and on that and on their stuff to motivate me to do that. And of course I have that in my friend group. Like it's cool, but you know, sometimes it gets frustrating in terms of um, you know the family dynamics when you don't have that all the time. But I was reminded, like everybody that we come into contact with is just a mirror of ourselves. So I'm frustrated at somebody else for not being disciplined, and I'm not as disciplined as I need to be. So you know, when I find myself stepping into being more disciplined, I'll also be able to see areas in their life in which. You know their discipline has improved or i'll be so focused on you know the things that i have to do from day to day that it won't even bother me in that way anymore but these are just good examples of what me and shade talk about a lot of times i'm talking about uh, my co-host shade and my sister shade but when we talk about a lot of times in terms of the importance of having those uncomfortable sit downs with yourself like yesterday i was just feeling it wasn't and it wasn't a bad day like somebody hit me and it was like you know you had a good day today and i was like uh it definitely wasn't a bad day like i had a decent day yesterday but i did find myself feeling a bit frustrated and then when i took the time to sit down with my journal and peel back those layers the core of how i was feeling is that i feel like i'm at a place now where i just i have to be more disciplined like it's not an option it's not anything i can play with i always say 
say um to whom much is given much is required which i mean that ain't my quote that's i think that's in the bible but those things that we say and we feel like we have a general understanding of like life will put us in situations where we really like have to look those sayings and those quotes in the face because they really apply to us and that's just where i'm at like i have to be more disciplined and that's something like i am starting today i got up this morning did my meal prep because not for nothing i went and got gro like i went and grocery shop on sunday with the intention of meal prepping for the week it still ate out yesterday because i didn't take the time to meal prep um and it's just like little stuff like that i have to it's not i have to i am being way more disciplined about um i didn't eat out yesterday i'm lying i, I went to Publish yesterday morning and I got uh, um, like a little vegan meal that I had to warm up but still like that I didn't have to do that because I had already bought stuff to make salads for the week just to give myself a little detox because Saturday at the repast I ate shit I ate stuff that I usually don't eat and that I know is not the best for me so again that full circle moment and it all comes back to me trees you have to be more disciplined you can't ask for God to bless you with all of this stuff and again, I already know what my life is meant to be. I know it. It's something that, you know, I've known for a while now. I can see it. I can taste it. You know, I can write about it in such eloquent ways. But if I'm not doing my part, like, I can't expect, I can't expect certain blessings to just fall in my lap. Like, I have grown to know that God loves me in such a way that he ain't going to give me nothing that I can't handle. And he's not going to give me anything until I show him that, you know, he can hand it over to me and kind of walk away and move on to the next person without me fumbling. And again, that's just the relationship that I have with God. Like, I am very clear on that stuff. I know that stuff 100%. And so anything that I am dissatisfied with in my life or, you know, anything that I'm kind of like, dang, like, I know I could be doing better in this area. It's me. It's definitely me. Um, and so that is my charge to you all today to take inventory of your lives and anything that you're not quite satisfied with sit down and think about how you contribute to that to that issue to that challenge um you know it's easy for us to point the blame on other people i'm gonna even keep it a stack with you like in terms of childhood stuff we talk about childhood trauma and why those things are valid in terms of the effect they have on us at some point we have to take responsibility for initiating that healing journey we have to take those steps to you know figure out ways that we can use those things that may not have been as favorable in our childhood and use it in our ministry as adults i truly believe that is why we're here to you know people talk about flipping money all the time but flip your experiences like make your experiences work for you Allow your experiences to not only serve as a teacher for your inner work, but to help someone else along. That's why I'm so transparent, because I know my experiences are not just for me. My experiences are to, you know, normalize the day-to-day, -day, the in and out of what it means to just be experiencing life, to be a human. I'm never going to come on here and act like I got it all together. I do not. I don't want y'all to think I got it all together, because I'm not relatable, you know. Once somebody appears to have it all figured out, they're no longer relatable. But I'm just bringing y'all on the journey. And I know the journey will never end. But I definitely hope that by me sharing my journey or bits and pieces of my journey, it also helps for y'all to see the progress. The progress. I mean, I got videos from years ago that I have never posted that that I'm definitely glad I recorded. Because even like looking at those videos, I can look back and see my progress even over the last four or five years like who i was four or five years ago is crazy to me like insane but even with that like i tell you i've had my like blocks of therapy meaning i got to a point where i have met my goals in my therapeutic relationship with my last therapist but now i'm at a place where i know it's time it's time to go on back sis and what did i do i scheduled an appointment to go back and so now every thursday i have therapy but I have to be that intentional with all areas of my life. And that's just some. Um, and it's okay. Like, it's all a learning lesson. And what I love about being open and being teachable is that I never get too far 
you know, off course before something kind of wraps me on back in. And so, you know, now that I'm aware of where I need to improve, I can make intentional steps, take intentional steps from day to day to make those improvements. So like I said today, I got up my meal prep. Um, I got my gym bag with me, so me and Tiff gonna get it in at the work. And that's my 1% for the day. Um, yeah, so I want you all to take inventory of your lives and then, you know, outline some things that you can do to be intentional about making those changes as necessary. Because shit, I got to get back in school too. So if I'm already like all over the place, I don't want to say I'm all over the place. That Like that's a stretch. But I'm not dis as disciplined as I need to be for somebody that in a couple months, like I need to be getting back, taking classes again. Because um, I got to go ahead and like just get this license out the way. And that's one thing I'm finding too. Like I definitely believe in taking mental breaks when you need to but when I take breaks my, my breaks tend to be over an extended period of time period of time and then I look up and I've inserted other things other activities other responsibilities in the place where I was supposed to be saying all right I need to like get some rest like I need to you know kind of take a step back and get myself together before returning to this thing like I, I just replaced that with something else um, and so, you know, little things like that, learning little things about myself, but it's definitely, definitely something that, um, I'm working on and I charge you all to do the same. If y'all got any tips for your girl about being more disciplined, let me know. I'm always going to be a student in the classroom. Like I'm, you know, I never feel like I know too much to learn more. So let me know. And again, I hope you all have an amazing day. You create an amazing day um, because life is definitely and truly what we make it.